Okay, so the T command allows you to send output to a file as well as standard out. As a pipeline is linear, hooking up output from one command to the input of a following command, the only way that you will be able to write output to a file is by redirection. Once that redirection occurs, you will have no output to pipe into any other command. This is where T comes in. By piping into T, you can write to one or many files and continue with your pipeline. So let's say you wanted to write to a file at a specific point within your pipeline before you continue with further processing. You could accomplish this with two separate command lines or you could do it all in one using T. So for a simple example, let's use this text file list.txt. So let's sort it and write the sorted list to a file and get a printout of the number of items in the list. Without T, we would need to have two separate command lines like this. T is not limited to writing to only one file. We can provide T with many files and it will write the same data to all of them. By default, T will overwrite any files that are given as arguments. If you want T to append to a file, you can use the A flag. We can also use process substitution with T, as process substitution allows our subprocess to be referred to as a file name. Using process substitution with T allows us to do multiple different operations in parallel. So as an example, let's download Google's search page and compute different hashes all in parallel. We're going to use wget to do this with the output document flag and provide a dash as the file name so the document will be printed to standard out. So we now have three separate hashes using different hashing algorithms and the data that was downloaded. Okay, so that's how T works and thanks for watching. Goodbye.